y'all, the same man who used to make these women so happy, you know, from IMX days, from immature days, you know, Marcus Houston, the, the, the man that the women used to love, okay, has just got disowned, disarmed, uh, kicked out of the celebratory love group from the sisterhood. Okay, they are mad at him. The sisterhood is mad at Marcus Houston. And if you're wondering why they're mad at him, let's go ahead and listen to this clip of what he said and why he got them triggered. Me and my wife's situation is a little different, you know, how we were, how we met, you know, through mutual friends and everything like that. You know, I, when I met my wife, she was 17. So, you know, we had no really conversation and no really connection until... You know, she was of age and, you know, it's, people don't understand it. And I got a lot of, of course, I got a lot of backlash for marrying someone that was 19. And, you know, when we did finally start to talk, I was like, this woman is like me. And she was just like, when I would talk to her, she just, for one, we had a spiritual connection. And I feel like that's the most important thing. We both love God. We both love Jehovah. And... That was key. And being able to start being around her and talking to her and talking to like, we got it, we, we, we connected through music and you know, uh, her spirit, her kindness, her heart reminds me a lot of my. Okay, so let me go ahead and read the article. Okay, so it says, Marcus Houston has been making headlines since he revealed in 2020 that at age 38, he married then 19-year-old Maya Houston. Three years later, he is standing strong in his decision while speaking about the qualities that led him to pop the question. As we previously reported, Houston sat down with TV One and explained that him and Maya had no communication or connection until she was of age. Now Houston is opening up about his decision not to marry a woman that's his age, okay? According to the R&B star, a marriage between him and a 40-year-old woman could have been disastrous women that are my age they kind of have a different outlook on life houston tells page six like a lot of women my age are very independent they are very like i don't need a man to do this for me because i can do it for myself i come from a generation that's all we got okay that's all it says so the sisterhood essentially is mad at this man for uh being in a relationship with a woman who is his junior, right, who is a lot of years his junior. I think, what's that age gap between them? Um, About 20 years almost, almost, maybe 17 years or whatever. And not only were they mad at him for that, that he's with a woman who is way younger than him, they are also enraged with the fact that he had the audacity to say that he would not have wanted to be with a woman that was in his age group because they act like, you know, they don't need a man. They could do bad all by themselves. And he didn't want to deal with that. You have people in the comment section, oh, you know, this is what you call grooming. Oh, you know, he just saying this, he's controlling, he's this and he's that. How, can, how come we always have to avoid the truth? Why? Why do we always find it necessary to avoid the truth? Everybody can say it. Men can shout from the rooftop on every different pl panel platform across the world and say the older that women get, the more bitter they get, the harder it is for them to get into a relationship, the harder it is for them to be um, uh, cooperative. It's super hard for them once they get to a certain place in life, stage in life, and especially a certain age. But it's so interesting because women always have something to say when a man is with somebody who was younger than him. But let a woman come out and be with a man who is, you know, super young. People be like, I know that's right, girl. You better keep up with them. You know, huh? These these older guys can't do nothing for you. You know, that's right, girl. She still got it. OK, Stella. <laughs> the hypocrisy. Everything that he mentioned about this woman, right? And here's what's so interesting. 
he's married to this woman. He's still married to this woman. He, he met her. He courted her. He married her. Right? And it's so interesting to me because when there's these rappers out here with these baby mamas, no matter what the age, they could be the same age. They could be, you know, doing whatever it is. When they're out here and these women are out here having all these kids, nobody's saying anything. They're like, oh, you know, we need to we need to um stop stigmatizing baby mamas. It's not her fault that she had the baby, yada, yada, yada. Like, they will defend women being out here and being impregnated and being baby mamas. They are the ones who actually stand in the gap and are promoting baby mama culture. It's the women. It's not the men promoting it. It's the women. Yeah, girl, will you know, have that baby for yourself. Yeah, girl, will you know, uh, you know, sometimes if a man can't love you, he'll give you somebody that could love you. Yeah, girl, well, you know, yeah, you know, you could do it. You don't need him. It's women promoting baby mama culture. So now we have a man who made an, a quote unquote, you know, honest woman of this of this woman. His wife. And y'all mad and are trying to nitpick things in their relationship because of the age gap. You know, what's so funny about the age gap is in 10 years when she's 30. Nobody's going to care. <laughs> like once you start, it, it, it's, it sounds a certain way when you're younger, but once you get to a certain stage, people no longer look at the age gap. It's like, oh, 30, 40, 50, uh, same thing. Oh, 40, 50, okay, same thing. They're making a big deal out of this situation. We, we genuinely don't know the dynamics of how he met this person besides what he told us. But I think... That a lot of, ooh, hold up. Because I know how the sisterhood get. They be liking to tussle, okay? My opinion is, okay, let me just state this. This is my opinion. My opinion is that women get so flustered and so frustrated, frustrated when a man is, uh, you know, securely walking around in his dominance and he's not ashamed, he's not apologetic over it, he doesn't feel bad, you can't make him feel bad about his decision and he is just standing there in his truth like, yeah, uh-huh, this is a decision I made. I didn't do nothing with her until she was of age. I married her, she's my wife, I love her, I'm connected to her, you know, this is what it is. And no, I was not looking at my age group because all them women are bitter. Like, women, that makes the sisterhood, it makes their blood boil. <laughs> it makes them outraged. How dare you say that, first of all, and then how dare you not be apologetic about it? Pure dominance, they cannot stand. It aggravates them. Because we're in a stage where women feel like everything is supposed to be around them. You're supposed to coddle them. You're supposed to care about their feelings. You're supposed to care about their emotions. You know, you're supposed to think of the sisterhood before you say anything. That's why you get on certain platforms and they'll ask you, you know, how does it feel to be loved by a black woman? You know, it's, it's all this emphasis. So once you say something that even looks like. You not about to please the sisterhood, they on you. They all up on you. And I think it's ironic also because in these spaces when we have these conversations, we express over and over again that especially when it when it comes to younger women, right? It's essential that in these stages that people are telling you to have your little 304 phase. Oh, you know, see what you like. Date around. Do this. You got options. You'll have all this time. Like, we're literally telling younger women, like, no. You're, when you're a certain age, you should be looking for who your husband is going to be. You should be looking towards what relationship you're going to be in. What, what kind of um, stability it is that you're looking for. Like, you should not be out here all willy-nilly. Hopping from left to right. And then when you turn 25, 26, now you're trying to figure out what it is that you should have been figuring out when you were in your early 20s. Right? So we constantly have these conversations. Interestingly enough, a lot of women don't understand or, or are just uh, having selective hearing 
with the fact that when we have these conversations with young men, what are we telling them at that same age and stage? Are we telling 20 year old men to go and find a wife and hurry up and get married and lock that down so that you can set up your future? Or are we telling them to focus on their businesses, focus on, on focus on structure, learn the nature of women so that you can be, learn the tools to be a good leader. That's what we're telling them at that stage. So if you put two and two together, that would mean that the younger woman for her to be able to look for somebody and possibly marry somebody at a younger age, she probably is going to have to look a little further when it comes to the age range. Because if we're telling a 20-year-old girl, you should be looking for somebody who would be your husband. You should be thinking about your future at that age. You should not be out and about uncovered just, you know, willy-nilly. If we're telling her that and we're telling this 20-year-old man, you should be thinking about your future. You should be thinking about li um, leaving a legacy. You should be thinking about what, it, what kind of business or what kind of mindset you're going to have so that you can create this scenario for yourself that you can live comfortably so that you can have, you know, take care of your wife and your children and your household. If we're telling both of these 20-year-olds two different things, it's possible that this 20-year-old might end up marrying somebody who was 30, 35, 40, because she is marrying somebody who is at, it, at that established place. Duh! <laughs> like, <laughs> how is this so mind-boggling? People would rather be outraged at a woman who got married young than be outraged at somebody having three, four, five, six, seven baby daddies. That's the stage that we're in right now. It's okay to have baby daddies. It's okay to, you know, your body, your choice, and you can sleep around and be with whoever you want to, uh, you know, with every kind of risk all high through the sky. But if you're married to somebody and we see that it's somebody who belonged to us, a.k.a. the sisterhood, and, you know, you're married to this person and you're a little bit too young or you a little bit too light skinned or, you know, you not black or you this It's all of a sudden everybody going to jump up on you. We have to look at the stuff that really and truly matters. Structure wise. Not what's going to cater to somebody feelings. Somebody opinions, what somebody thinks. I, I love I love the picture. Okay, he's sitting there like, mm-hmm. I said it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Let me know. I want to know what you guys think about this. As soon as I saw this, I was like, I have to know what everybody thinks about this um, situation. So let me know you guys' opinions or your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.